Well, it's Dave from Bullpen Cycles, and this is opening day. Uh, I got some more practice on my YZ. We were gonna run the Bull Taco, but now my clutch is frozen. So we are gonna run the Harley. I never rode this before, and I missed the first practice session. So this might be good. So it's Dave so that from. That concludes our first round of flat track practice. We're going to put some moisture down in the track, but be ready. We're going to get right back in our second round pretty quick. So I didn't have to get here the night before to get a good spot because now they have new speakers all over. So you can pretty much, there's there, over there, over there. You can pretty much. Final call. Practice number two. We're not here. We're going to practice three. You got to be in it to win it. Well, you can hear Last it. Last call for practice two. But it doesn't sound like a bad cell phone connection. But uh, that's still a big improvement. Now this bike's going to be a little different for me because the brake has been moved over to the left side like a modern flat tracker so it shifts and brakes on one side. The key is find a gear that works and leave it there. And that's what I'm going to try. Our race is coming up. We're in vintage open. I don't know who's running. There's only four other people there. I don't know how I'm going to do. Probably last. But let's hope I don't get lapped. It's not a novice class, so who knows. So if you recall, this one wouldn't start last time. Because my starter turns counterclockwise. And this engine turns over backwards.
scratch a lot of fun. That just has so much more character than a Yamaha. Wow. That was thrilling. I can't wait to go again. So, I missed the main on a foul plug. I was going to be excited. I was actually excited to run that sprint. But I guess we have some more jetting to do. Them's the brakes. Got one more race. That's why I have the YZ. Because I gotta have something. And we are back from the race with an epilogue so what did I learn and I'm gonna share these tidbits they're not race advice you don't want to get race advice from me but there's some non race things that are important too like first time when I said you should make sure you can arrive early get a good spot and park near the speaker so you can hear when your race is called or better yet, park where you can see the race board. And now here, I had two bikes. Uh, one was a, we didn't run it. And the other, I was sidelined on a fouled spark plug. So if you're running vintage bikes, it's really just like it was back in the day. You always got to tinker. So you should really have a fully stocked race trailer. And my advice is don't Try to load it up the night before. Have your own race kit, keep it in the trailer, and don't unload it. You're gonna need, in addition to all your race tools and spares, you should have good LED lighting, uh, an easy up canvas, and carpet. So when you're working on your stuff, you have a clean, lighted, dry place to work. Now, this, it was, a frozen clutch cable that's that that's why I didn't run and it was stuck hard and it wasn't frayed but it, I mean it took a little bit of diagnose to figure out that the cable was not budging and the other one was a spark plug so you can get hung up on a couple of little tiny things and if you load up the night before and you're not thorough you're out of luck so prep your race trailer. That's a little bit of an investment. Now you gotta have a dedicated trailer. So if you're any more than a weekend warrior, that's what I learned. <laughs>